Hey guys, Sean here. So many of you have written to me about uh, like these on-screen glitches that happen when installing AGS 101 screens. And you can see, I'm trying to replicate it, it kind of happens when, well the reason it happens is that the way that the ribbon folds, it's right on top of each other and it can cause some electromagnetic like interference. So the best way to handle that um, I found is to cover it up with some uh, something to protect EMI, uh, which is like a copper tape or some kind of aluminum foil, some kind of metal that will that'll block it. Um, this copper tape I found on Amazon for fairly inexpensively. Um, but you can see, let me show you, let me zoom in real close. So here it looks normal, and when I push down like this on the ribbon, in a certain way, right about there, you can start to see some of the glitches. And depending on exactly how it's folded and various different things, right there, you can see it's fairly bad. Uh, it just kind of looks like static or like sometimes there's like white lines. And the best way is to just uh, take this apart. Of course, you want to make sure that everything is masked. So you want to make sure that the top of this is masked, the, the bottom of your El Clono is masked. Um, especially even if you're using a ribbon too, versus the El Clono. But the most important part is uh, adding tape to the ribbon of the AGS-101 screens. And there's different ones. The reason that this happens sometimes and not others is that this ribbon comes in various different thicknesses. On some of them, like this one feels almost unnoticeably thicker, but if you if you measure it with like calipers, this one's actually a little bit, tiny bit thicker. Um, on the thinner ones, that's what I've discovered has been causing the most interference. Like I was trying to figure out maybe it was like an older, older version of motherboards it wasn't working well with or something like that, because I know that on the older ribbons, the, the crystal oscillators had some issues and uh, so you'd have to install like little chips and things to to fix that and then and then later on the the ribbons got better like the code that Ben Van put and that took care I think it actually had its own crystal built in so it kind of bypassed this altogether and that's the case with the uh, the El Clonos this has its own crystal I think that's the crystal right there um, just built in so you don't it doesn't really necessarily matter what motherboard version you have what matters now is your specific AGS 101 screen, there's, they're not all the same, unfortunately. So the fix is pretty simple. Basically, you just wanna cut a little strip of copper tape here. And I'm gonna cut it about this long. So if you lay out your uh, your ribbon, you want it to be about the length from of this angled part here. A little bit longer is okay, as long as it doesn't go into the pins or like too high up. <clears throat> and then this tape uh, is half inch, but the ribbons are a little bit smaller than that. Quarter inch would be too narrow, so I got half inch. And you can see you need to trim off, you know, a little bit. So just go ahead and trim this, just like that. And then peel your tape. This stuff is pretty thin. And you want to lay it down just barely so you can kind of like align it this way. And just like that. And of course, this copper tape is conductive. So, firstly, we, we want to do this to both sides. So, I'm going to cut another piece here. This long. Make it a little thinner. And there's something in particular about El Clonos. I guess it's just the, kind of the way that you fold the ribbon that this issue has been a little more prevalent with. But this could also probably be useful for even like uh, Game Boy Advances, because that one the ribbon gets folded on top of itself. I haven't seen that issue as much with Game Boy Advances, 
but anyway. Um, so there's that, and then this is going to be sitting on top of these electrical components here. So you either want to make sure you mask the El Clono or the, uh, or the ribbon here itself. So uh, I'm going to use some Kapton tape and yeah, on this one I'm going to put it on the actual ribbon here. And again, this is a little bit wider, but oops. But you can kind of fold the tape over. And make sure you do both sides. Just like that. You kind of want to fold it over if it needs to. Um, you can also just trim it if it needs to be. It's a little, if it's a little too thick. Just careful not to trim your. Uh, eh, I'm just gonna leave it just for the purpose of this tutorial. But anyway, I just want to show you guys. So now that this is all EMI protected. Electromagnetic interference protected. Let's plug this back in. And this kind of beefs up the ribbon a little bit too. But no matter how you fold it, it doesn't get all glitchy anymore. I'm pushing on it in all various various ways. So um, as far as I have seen, this really fixes any of the issues um, with the, the interference, especially with these El Clonos. So yeah, just a quick little video about this because I know a few people have had this issue and it's something that I had to talk to Ben Van about and it took a lot of figuring out. Um, but this is a pretty good little solution, so I just wanted to share it with everybody. And um, I guess that's it for this one. I'll see you guys next time.